let me tell you about my walk. I got this walk. I, I, I take it pretty much every day. It's about two and a half miles, my house to the store and back. And I guess maybe it's just an after effect of living in New York for five years, but I just don't feel right unless I've walked a couple of miles by the end of the day. But obviously walking in Valdosta, Georgia is a lot different than walking in New York City. You know, the, the weather's usually better, but I miss having sidewalks and interesting destinations. But I also miss being able to walk a whole fucking mile without being passively proselytized to a dozen times. See, along my way, I pass two churches within 300 yards of one another. Both have reader boards out front about my soul. There's also a Christian daycare along the way. It actually says that, Christian daycare, so take your heathen Muslim toddlers somewhere else. But I don't get a break in the residential areas either. I shit you not, I pass 11 houses every day with identical lawn signs that read, Pray for our nation, exclamation point, 2 Corinthians 7.14. 11 of them. Oh, I also pass a little manger scene that apparently stays up year-round, and depending on what time I leave, my neighbor that owns a lawn service might have his giant trailer out front with the words, Jesus is Lord, emblazoned across it in two-foot-tall letters. Every day on my way to the store, I see a minimum of 14 messages to remind me that a lot of people around here love them some Jesus. 28 on the round trip. Minimum. Now, I'm not counting all the bumper stickers and the pro-Jesus t-shirts and the pamphlets and the VBS advertisement and the fact that if I walked a little further along, I'd come across a whole Christian store. So if I averaged it out, I'd say i come across something like 45 Jesus messages basically every time I leave my house. Now, imagine, if you will, that I put a sign up on my lawn that said, I don't believe in God. Or, how about that evolution, huh? Or, or, or imagine I took this walk wearing a scathing atheist t-shirt every day, or I just painted, Jesus was just some dude if he existed at all across the side of my car. What kind of asshole am I, right? What kind of son of a bitch, firebrand, shit-slinging, fight-picking, counterproductive, persecutorial asshole am I? I am so sick of this double standard. Even in the most secular place on earth, you're not going to come across the dozen don't bother praying lawn signs in a mile-long walk. Even the most stereotypically snarky atheist in the universe isn't going to greet everybody who walks through the door of their convenience store with, Morning, there is no God. There is no secular equivalent to this nonsense anywhere on earth. And yet, when we want to do something as benign as put up a billboard that says, You're not the only atheist, we get lawsuits and complaints and vandalism and Bill O'Reilly's forehead veins. And sure, the religious people get pissy about this kind of stuff. I can understand that. You know, they're the ones that are under threat when the secular world flexes its muscles. So whether or not they actually think they're being persecuted when we do 0.04% of the crap they do, it serves their purposes to pretend like they are. They're clinging to power, so I can't exactly expect them to be logical. They're also religious, so I can't expect them to be logical. But what I can't get my head around are the atheists who get pissy about this stuff. See, every time we pick up a surge of new listeners, there's also this new influx of emails of a bunch of atheists telling us to tone it down. Now, some of them are talking about the puppy rape jokes, and I get that. I might ignore it, but I understand that. But a lot of these people are talking about the tone of the show. Some of them are lecturing us about how counterproductive it is to be so rude. They tell us that we don't need to treat religious ideas with reverence, but we should at least treat them with respect. Otherwise, we're just alienating the religious people and making them more intractable. And I've addressed this exact complaint a number of times on the show, I know, but I'm starting to shift my stance a bit. See, in the past, I said that we needed both. You know, we need the people who are respectful so they can help convert the theists, and then we need the firebrands to keep everybody excited and engaged. But I'm starting to really question whether we even need the respectful folks at all. Now, hear me out on this, because I'm not suggesting that everybody take after me and do things my way. I, you know, I, I do think that we need to keep an intellectual dialogue going, so I'm not suggesting that everybody calls Jesus a fucktard. But I don't think even the nicest, most accommodating, most approachable atheist in the world should ever treat religious ideas with respect. Or even tolerance. You know, we should treat them with disdain or irreverence, and not just because that's what they deserve. Just think of the scale we're working with here. Religious people are told not to question. From the time they can comprehend, they're told to treat these ideas with absolute reverence. In fact, even if you think that you're questioning them, you're wrong. That's not actually you. That's an evil spirit from the underworld that snuck into your brain while you weren't looking and thought those evil thoughts for you. They're taught that they could be burned in hell for eternity just for pursuing the question of what was up God's ass during the whole Tower of Babel thing. So how do you counteract that upbringing? With respect? By reinforcing the notion that these ideas are respectable? Think about it like a seesaw. Since this person was born into a religious family, all the weight has been put on the reverence end. So now we're supposed to stand somewhere in the middle and think we're going to move anything? Hell no. We need to be as far out on the other end of the scale as possible. We should be treating with exactly as much mockery as they're giving it solemnity. 
We need to counteract reverence with irreverence. That's how it worked for me. I was raised in a nominally religious household, and even the non-religious influences early in my life still threw a bone to faith. You know, it wasn't until I started reading Douglas Adams and watching Monty Python that I was able to put religious belief in its proper context. I needed to see somebody mock it before I felt like I had intellectual permission to even question it. Now, if you disagree with me and you think there's some intellectual justification in not labeling a stupid idea as stupid, feel free to reach out. You know, feel free to tell me what you think, but don't pretend that you're on the intellectual high ground here, and don't be surprised when I dismiss your objection. You're asking me to respect racism, misogyny, and anti-scientific fairy tales. That in itself is a stupid idea, and you already knew how much respect I had for stupid ideas when you sent the email.